DJI looks to be on the verge of unveiling one of the most disruptive and forward-thinking drone products it has ever attempted, as recent FCC certifications, leaked test units, and insider chatter all point toward the imminent arrival of what is widely believed to be the DJI Avata 360, a next-generation hybrid drone designed to completely blur the line between immersive 360-degree video capture and high-performance FPV flight. And the sheer scope of what is being rumored makes this launch feel far more significant than a routine product refresh, especially given the broader industry uncertainty, regulatory pressure, and increasing competition in the aerial imaging space. The FCC documentation alone has ignited intense discussion, as it confirms multiple model numbers tied to the same platform, a detail that traditionally signals multiple bundles, storage tiers, battery configurations, or even distinct functional variants aimed at different types of pilots and creators. And when you combine that with the timing of the filing, Many observers believe DJI is deliberately accelerating its release schedule, potentially positioning this drone as one of the last major consumer UAV launches to officially reach the US market before any additional restrictions or bans take effect, which would make the Avata 360 not just a technological milestone, but a strategically timed statement. Unlike earlier Avata models that leaned heavily into FPV only flying, this new platform is increasingly described as a true dual-mode aircraft, a hybrid drone that integrates a full 360 degrees camera system alongside a traditional forward-facing FPV camera, allowing pilots to switch between immersive spherical capture and classic first-person flight on demand. And according to multiple leaks, this transformation is achieved through an ingenious rotating gimbal mechanism that pivots roughly 90 degrees, enabling one lens to take control while the other remains concealed and protected, a design choice that neatly explains why early prototype images showed no obvious external 360 camera and why so many initial leaks caused confusion across the drone community. Technically, the rumored specifications are ambitious even by DJI standards, with reports pointing toward dual 1.1-inch image sensors, a substantial upgrade that could allow native 8K 360-degree video recording at up to 50 frames per second, placing it firmly in professional and prosumer territory for immersive content creation, while FPV mode is expected to support ultra-smooth 4K footage at up to 120 frames per second, ideal for high-speed flight, cinematic chase sequences, action sports, and low-latency piloting through DJI's latest O4 digital transmission system, which promises improved range, stronger signal stability, and reduced interference compared to previous generations. Powering all of this processing and data throughput is said to be a significantly larger battery rated at approximately 38.67 watt-hours, a notable jump from the Avata 2's 31.7 watt-hour pack representing roughly a 22% increase in capacity, which could translate into flight times pushing beyond the 25-minute mark under ideal conditions or, alternatively, provide the sustained power required for continuous high bitrate 8K recording without thermal throttling, and leaks suggest that DJI will bundle three of these intelligent flight batteries in certain kits, along with a redesigned charging hub, spare propellers, and a compact carrying case that keeps the entire system travel-friendly, despite the added capability. Price rumors hovering around 6,899 yuan, or roughly $975 USD, position the Avata 360 as a premium offering, but one that still undercuts the cost of buying a separate FPV drone and a dedicated 360 camera, reinforcing the idea that DJI is aiming to consolidate creative tools into a single, highly versatile platform. Design leaks further support this strategy, as early outdoor test images, first spotted back in May, reveal a noticeably slimmer and more elongated airframe compared to the Avata 2, with a lower top profile that sits nearly flush with the rotors, a shape that appears intentionally optimized to minimize the drone's visibility in stitched 360-degree footage creating that coveted, invisible drone, effect without heavy post-production cropping, while the elongated rear section likely helps balance the redistributed weight of the dual-lens camera block and larger battery. 
and the light gray color scheme aligns with DJI's newer industrial design language seen across recent releases, making the Avata 360 look less like a traditional FPV quad and more like a compact cinematic machine, closer in spirit to a scaled-down Air Series drone. Intriguingly, those first leaked photos lacked any visible top-mounted 360 lens, which many now believe was an intentional move by DJI to obscure the drone's headline feature during early testing, a theory that gained traction when a competing product, branded as the Anti-Gravity 360 drone, was announced on August 14 with bold claims of being the world's first true 360-degree drone and a projected launch window of January 2026 sparking widespread debate about whether DJI would allow another manufacturer to seize control of a category it is uniquely positioned to dominate given its expertise in drones, gimbals, imaging sensors, and consumer 360 cameras. Just weeks later, a new set of leaks surfaced showing a subtle bump on the top of the Avata 360's fuselage. Widely interpreted as the long-rumored concealed 360 lens, reigniting speculation that DJI may be preparing two distinct versions of the aircraft, one optimized specifically for immersive spherical video and another focused more heavily on FPV performance, though many now believe it is a single adaptable platform rather than separate SKUs. Further clarification came when older images originally thought to depict an Avata 3 prototype were re-examined and reclassified as the Avata 360 operating in FPV mode, explaining why no spherical camera was visible at the time, as the rotating gimbal design reportedly flips the lower lens upward when not in use, protecting it during aggressive flight and landing while keeping the drone's profile clean. Conceptually, this hybrid approach makes perfect sense, as DJI already dominates both the FPV drone market and the consumer 360 camera space and merging these two worlds into a single device unlocks entirely new creative workflows, from reframing immersive footage into traditional cinematic shots to capturing high-speed FPV runs while preserving the freedom to adjust angles in post, and leaked promotional imagery now circulating online appears to confirm the official Avata 360 branding while clearly illustrating the two core operating modes, with 360 mode positioning the lenses vertically to capture the entire environment above and below the drone, and FPV mode rotating the camera block to present a single forward-facing lens optimized for piloting and dynamic movement. On the imaging side, each lens is rumored to offer a 180-degree field of view at 4K resolution, with AI-assisted stitching producing seamless 8K 360-degree video. A massive leap in creative flexibility for action sports filmmakers, travel creators, and immersive storytellers, while FPV mode could deliver 5K video at 60 frames per second and high-resolution stills approaching 30 megapixels, and the full spherical system may support ultra-high-resolution panoramic photos up to 120 megapixels, all of which generates enormous data loads that DJI is reportedly addressing by increasing onboard storage to 128 gigabytes alongside micro SD expansion, ensuring creators are not immediately bottlenecked by file size limitations. Safety and usability also appear to be central to the Avata 360's design, with improved obstacle sensing, smarter flight assistance and compatibility with multiple control options including the latest FPV goggles, advanced FPV controllers, and the standard RC2 remote, making the drone accessible to both seasoned pilots and those transitioning from camera drones into FPV flight. Taken together, these leaks paint a picture of a product that is far more than an incremental update, effectively redefining what a compact FPV drone can be. And while earlier rumors across the DJI ecosystem had focused heavily on other upcoming devices, shifting attention toward FCC filings and leaked test footage has clarified the timeline, with some insiders now suggesting a potential launch as early as mid-December, possibly around December 18th, rather than the previously speculated January 2026 window, a move that would allow DJI to beat looming regulatory deadlines and capture market attention before competitors can respond, and with estimated pricing in the $699 to $799 range for base kits and higher for fly more bundles.
the Avata 360 could land at a sweet spot where cutting-edge technology, hybrid functionality, and DJI's polished ecosystem converge, making it one of the most talked-about drone releases in years and a potential game-changer for FPV pilots, 360-degree video creators, and anyone looking for a single aerial platform that can truly do it all.